Welcome in world of technology. Hands on, Samsung Q6FN QLED TV review. Samsung's lower end 2018 QLED brings HDR10 Plus streaming and 4K gaming, but, from what we've seen so far, doesn't have the specs to fully unlock their beauty. Price and availability The Q6FN comes in five sizes. 82 inch, 75 inch, 65 inch, 55 inch, and 49 inch. Samsung's other QLEDs don't come in 82 or 49, so you get more versatility at this level, which, in turn, provides more affordability. So far, Samsung has only put the 65 and 75 Q6S on sale. At 65, you're looking at $2,199 about 1600 pounds around 2800 Australian dollars while the 75 sells for $3499 about 2500 pounds around 4300 Australian dollars we don't know yet how the other three sizes will match up design because the Q6FN uses Samsung's quantum dot technology which transmits lead colors through nano-sized crystal semiconductor particles, it don't suffer from burn in the defect most LED TVs suffer when their pixels emit the same pattern for too long, like a news logo, and become permanently tinted. One problem, the Q6FN and Q7FN both use bottom-edge LED lighting instead of the direct backlight LEDs found in the Elite models. Consequently, while the Q8FN and Q9FN have virtually no visible bezels on all four sides, the Q6S bottom bezel juts out somewhat to accommodate the LEDs, which somewhat undermines its ambient mode's camouflage effect by comparison. Performance Samsung's Q6F TV from last year made quantum TVs affordable, but its specs were definitely underwhelming. And from what we've seen so far, it looks like more of the same this year. The Q6FN doesn't stack up to its siblings' power, but it's still a definite upgrade from last year's discount model. The Q6FN upgrades from HDR compatibility to HDR10 and HDR10 Plus support, from 60fps to full 4K gaming support, and from an incomplete color range to 100% DCI-P3 color volume. It hits UHD resolution and supports SD to UHD upscaling. Against the Q9FN, Q8FN and Q7FN, however, the comparison is a lot less flattering. The top two models direct backlighting enables a much better color contrast and deeper blacks in specific screen zones than an edge LED model like Q6FN is capable of. All of the QLEDs last year had edge LEDs, and even the high-end Q9F couldn't compensate for the problem with a powerful processor. Our reviewers noticed that they tended to cause backlight clouding and gray banding whenever watching content in the dark. Features Thankfully, while Samsung skimped on the hardware, the company has made pretty much all of its newest software and interface features available on all of its 2018 sets, so don't worry too much if you are still leaning towards spending less. That upgraded experience starts right when you open the TV box so long as you have their new SmartThings app installed for Android or iOS. When you turn the TV on, it automatically pairs with the app, which will then log the TV into your Wi-Fi network without you having to type out your password. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel, see you next time on the other R videos.